So, in case anybody hasn't noticed, the two hottest items in our economy right now are, are assault weapons and toilet paper, right? And, uh, you know, food is not really particularly high on that list. It's, it's not the top two most sought-after items, you know? I'm thinking, my God, I mean, uh, you know, you're gonna need food to have the energy to pick up the assault rifle to go kill the people to get the toilet paper if you run, you know, I mean, so food should be at the, the, the center of the, the, the picture here, but it's not, okay. And I don't really know what you'd need the toilet paper for if you don't have food because there's not going to be much to wipe, right? There's no food going in. There's not going to be any you-know-what coming out. Okay, so, look, if I had a choice between two out of the three, you know, the food, assault weapons, or uh, toilet paper, I'd take the assault weapon first uh, because you can get both of the other two with the, that, and then um, the food second, and the toilet paper, it's not essential. If it got down to it, you could let it kind of dry up down there, and uh, just when it, a crust forms around the rim, you can just kind of flick it off, and you'll be you'll be fine, you know? So I'm at the gun shop, and I, I always use it as an opportunity to sort of reach out to people, to kind of inform them, and but at the same time, try to gauge where our society is right now. Okay, so I... Um, I'm talking to the guy and I say, you know, this is a bioweapons attack against China. I hope you realize that, right? The guy goes, no way, man. No way. I was a Marine once. No way. This is this is China that did this to their own people. Why would China want to tank their own economy? Why would they want to kill their own people? Oh, they, they hate their own people. Well, that's not working out because they haven't killed that many of them. Because actually, and, and they're spending billions of dollars now to prevent the, the spread of it. So yeah, I told the guy, I said, your theory doesn't hold any water there. It's just on its very surface, it does not hold water. And the guy goes, there's a, a large bio research facility in Wuhan, and that's where they discovered the virus. I said, well, no shit, Sherlock. I mean, if you're going to do a bio attack on someone, you're going to do it near a place where they have a, a weapons lab, duh. The guy's just not getting the concept of, like, how to set somebody up. You know, yeah, that's what this is. This is a setup, right? Obviously, the creeps that did this thing are not going to release this virus in the woods somewhere. They're going to do it in a city that has a, a bio research facility so that dumb fucks can sit there and go, oh, see, I made a big discovery. There's a bio... Uh, uh, research lab there and that's where the where the event the the, the contamination occurred and so therefore it's got to be them and no other factors make any difference well sorry it does make a difference you know in order to accept and be comfortable with the fact that the united states spends over hundreds of billions of dollars on bioterror research how to kill people with biological contaminants all this is disguised as protecting us against that right no in order to feel comfortable with the the billions spent on this and the hundreds of thousands of people that are in that business in that uh, research right you have to then accept and be comfortable with this idea that not one single one of those people would succumb to the temptation to remove a vial from the facility, a little vial of fluid like that, and say, well, look at this, the, the power, the power to kill, you know? the power to kill, the power to, 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 to lay waste to nations and people, you know? the economic power, the terrorizing power in this little vial of fluid here. You know? You have to you have to believe that not one single because that's all it takes is one single person 